All right, toy fans, I made a promise on my last video. I said that was not going to be the only Loyal Subjects opening we had this week. And I got home from work to a brand new box. Let's get right down to it. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing it this way. It's not a mystery. I'm going to put exactly in the title what I'm opening. But who knows, maybe you'll enjoy seeing my expression, seeing the packages for the very first time. So I ordered these off of Hot Topic. The last video I showed you was some um, loyal subjects that were exclusives from San Diego Comic Con of 2018. Uh, every year, the loyal subjects tend to give some of their uh, exclusive stock from San Diego Comic Con to GameStop. I always wait for that because GameStop has good deals. And I can usually get them shipped pretty well. And yeah, I can't go to San Diego because that's expensive and it's a long ways away. And usually for the last several years, it's been right before I have my audit at work. So I can't really leave. Anyway, I'm thankful for the Loyal Subjects and Hot Topic for pouring their partnership. Because once again, they put out some stock. And this year, I bought them directly. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters, everybody. That's right. The Loyal Subjects is getting into the Ghostbusters game, and this is how they stepped into that game. I told you the other day that I couldn't get to the uh, red glow-in-the-dark stay puffed, um, but I got this instead, which is pretty awesome. So, let's take a look at these boxes. Uh, Slimer. And... Looks like we've got all the exclusive fun ones on the box. This is the Slimer we got right here. That's actually the Red Glow in the Dark 10 year anniversary that was limited to 250 pieces. It sold out. And then there's the Burnt and Angry Stay Puffed. With the Ghostbusters logo there on the top. It's the Loyal Subjects crown over there. That's their, that and the actual seal there. Loyal Subjects. So I am really excited. The Stay Puff box. He's burnt. This is the burnt edition. Um, looks like exact same things on the box. I'm a little surprised that they went with this guy on the back as opposed to, you know, the one you've actually got in the package. But whatever. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Let's take a look. So Stay Puff is big compared to basically any other loyal subjects other than some of the dragons, it seems. Loyal subjects come with cards. There's the Stay Puffed card, and the back of the card shows basically the whole limited edition series, so. Sticky like a marshmallow. <laughs> that was good. So, he seems to be articulated here in the midsection. He's got articulated arms. The shoulder here, there's just one joint. It's right there. Um, there's not a joint in the wrists. His head. Yep, his head twists. And there's a little bit of articulation in the ankles. And it looks like, yep, there's some right there in the leg too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of articulation on this bad boy. And I do believe, I think they said on the uh, readings that it was a five and a half inch measurement. So look at that, you got burnt marshmallow. Like he definitely looks like uh, he's heading for some s'mores. Oh. Stay puffed. They did not tape shut the Slimer. That's okay. I do not care. Slimer also comes with a card. The back is the same. The front goes over Slimer. I keep these like my old baseball cards when I was growing up. I got a binder with literally baseball card sheets. So Slimer is pretty cool because obviously Slimer is a floating ghost. So how do you make a floating ghost float? Well, you put him in the trap, of course. 
Um, you can see there, there is a clear piece going up into Slimer's body, but nonetheless, I mean, it makes it look more like these um, beams are holding him in to the trap. Um, oh, you know what? I should show you this too. They like to put foot stamps on. Some people care more about these than I do. SDCC. Uh, Slimer's articulation. Oh my goodness. So look at that. That. I don't know if you can see. It's got a hinge on a ball. So it can rotate up and down. That's actually one of the nicest joints I've seen on a Loyal Subjects figure. That is... It might be a first. That might be a first for me. I am I'm really impressed with that joint. I did not expect that. I thought maybe they'd just go, you know, sort of up and down. Uh, so that's that's awesome. That's a really good joint. And that is a really good interpretation of what Slimer looks like. I mean, look at his face. That's spot on. That is spot on. Um, I know the ones that are actually going to come out when the regular wave comes out are going to have Slimer eaten or with a food cart. So that'll be fun. My phone just told me the battery is at 20%, so I had to touch the screen. Um, man. Oh, even the doors on the trap have a little bit of play in them. I wonder if this... Alright, I'm not going to try. This does wiggle on there. I was just going to see if maybe this could come off and the trap would be separate. But I'm not going to give that a try. I don't want to risk it. It looks like he's got some a joint in his neck there. And you can get a little bit of movement. But uh, he actually moves more up and down. Than side to side, it appears. Those two are awesome. So here's old big old Toasty. Stay puff. Got a little burn on his butt. Burn on his forehead. Burn on his shoulder. That face. Happy but creepy angry. Oops. That happens sometimes with this thing. Anyway. Um. That's Stay Puff. Slimer is just remarkable. Just really love this one. I think more people wanted the Stay Puffed. I think the Stay Puff sold out faster. But my goodness, I think the Slimer is just a perfect representation of him. Really clever use of the trap to show Slimer floating. You can see those joints again on the arms. So he's got a lot more maneuverability. Uh, I mean, the color green is perfect. The color coming out of the traps, holding them up is perfect. Look at the detail on the trap, even. I mean, they could have just made that a box, and you know, you could have thought it was a trap, and it would have been fine. But they did not scrimp on designing that. So this is, this is, I, I love this one way more than I love Stay Puff. I'm, I'm throwing that out there right now. That one's the best. All right, just to be clear, I do not blame Stay Puffed for falling back there. Uh, it just it happens. It's a spinning platform. You put him on something flat, he's standing just fine. Uh, he's not going to fall over. He's got a lot of heft to him. I just had him spinning, and so that happens. Uh, one thing I did want to point out that I noticed after I turned off the camera last, um, some really cool... Uh, the glare is getting into it, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pull it out. There's really great box art inside as well. In fact, this might almost be better. Can I get it out of there without ripping things? Hmm. Maybe not. It might just be the box. Anyway, the Ghostbusters logo back there in a real sort of spooky, creepy, purpley. That's really awesome. Look, once again, I love the Loyal Subjects. I think they uh, are rocking it with this Ghostbusters line. The Slimer is incredible. 
the Ghostbusters are going to be a big seller for them. I'm sure of that whenever they do finally drop, as I said yesterday, or whenever I did the other video. They tend to put things out at San Diego Comic-Con that are going to be coming soon lines. Like, these are your first glimpses of what's going to be happening. So, uh, they came out with their two heavy hitters, Slimer and Stay Puft. And I do believe that all of the Ghostbusters are going to be available soon. So, uh, I'd tell you to go buy these, but <laughs> Hot Topic sold out. They put out all the things that uh, Wild Subject had at San Diego Comic-Con. And these are the two that have sold out already. So, I'm glad I got my hands on them. They are awesome, but really check out Loyal Subjects in general. Just a whole bunch of great things, and watch for when the Ghostbusters line comes out. Once again, I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you really want to see photos that are not moving and don't have my voice, uh, aka pictures, feel free to check out Mark's Toy Box on Instagram. I am Mark. This is Mark's Toy Box. Thanks a lot. Bye.